the best restaurant in Nairobi you must try. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a Nairobi food guide. We are going all the way to Gong Road. The mall is called Mall 66. It has a various uh, street foods like you know in Nairobi we don't have like seriously street food but today we are gonna go to Kienyeji it's located in Mall 66 along uh, Gong Road I'll leave a link on the description down below and we are going to order Kienyeji it's called Kienyeji for a reason Kienyeji is called like what's Kienyeji in English I've forgotten it we are going to order food now let's head and let's go this is my tattoo culture i'm gonna be showing you a bit of nairobi uh yeah so if you are new to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe i show i'm a foodie vlogger for a very long time i'm an og guys i'm an og but i've been doing so many things but uh, back at restaurant hopping hopping yeah so let me know which other restaurant i should feature on my series and we'll chat later enjoy and comment down below so far from the ground can you see me now I'm at my sister's place. I thought I was I wasn't gonna sleep here but it's already new. <laughs> What's new? So I didn't carry my my moisturizer like I'm not in my normal filming era but I'm going for lunch for brunch with my sis with my niece, my sister Lana. My hair is a mess, so I'm hoping I'll go because the place where we are going for lunch is the same place where I want to go. I want to go to get my hair done. I think I've done a, like a video a long time with them. I like that place because they take care of my total hair really, really well. So the reason why I don't go there is because like in total, I don't live in I don't live in Gong Road. And the salon is in Gong Road. Like everything we eat is on Gong Road. Anyway, so the only thing I remember to carry is my moisturizer, which is this one. I don't know if you can see it well. So I sprayed it, and now you remember I sprayed it like this one. Yeah. Could you even see it? I sprayed it three times. You only need to spray it. Shake it and to spray it once. Yeah, once. So, yeah. So, yeah. Nowadays, I do my moisturizer. Like, I make sure because when you're using Tresemite, you have to, you have to, even, even like you have, like, it's a, it's a skincare rule that you have to adhere like the reason why you may have hyperpigmentation and skin darkening is because you don't wear sunscreen so don't be like me i've not been wearing sunscreen for a long time i started wearing sunscreen maybe last year so yeah i'm correcting it right now and i guess yeah like, and that's why you need to know to at least correct your sunscreen damage anyway let's go i'm wearing like my sister's Dira, oh my god, it is. And did you know you need to reapply your sunscreen every two hours on sun exposure? I did not know, but we are learning. Anyway, let's do this, let's get ready. I have to go, I don't want to be late. I'm meeting with my sister. I'm going to either Kineji or Mama Nilishe. So, yeah, so let's wear the clothes. And TMI, uh, I was eating the clothes I wore yesterday because I didn't carry, I didn't know I was sleeping over. Like, I have like three sis, three, three sisters in Nairobi, and every time I go to my one of my sisters, the other one wants me to go to that place. Like, oh my god, anyway, let's go. 
Let me grab my outfit. But they say it's finishing. This one is so good. Hey, Misha, it's finished. <laughs> So guys, uh, the servers are the told me this one, the, the waiter. So I'm going to serve up here. This one, yeah, I said like this one is the most popular. So I'm going to try this for you guys, the tilapia in coconut sauce. And then I'm going to take it with a traditional vegetable. I'm going to show you guys. It has yeah, everything for everyone. smoked cured beef and shiago and yama SCK similar to what they want. That is 650, and I said he can go with Ugali, but I think he spent Ugali three years, two years with the blue Ugali. Now I'm taking it with white chap, brown chapati, and brown chapati is 150 with greens. Guys, the additional video. Guys, we are in Kenya. I have a featured member who who the family. Sugar 
The way it's moist. So good and the garlic. This is how we eat garlic. We roll. And then this book is called the Rema. It's a tradition of vegetable. You can see the way it's runny. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's mm. my favorite traditional. You see? I have a book. I have I normally don't eat the fish yet. So, yeah. Done. The food is good. Yeah. 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 So the total bill came to 2,200 Kenyan shillings. My bill was 1,400 Kenyan shillings. I didn't know they added the vegetable there. But I paid it with M-Pesa because M-Pesa is the way to go. If you're in Kenya, load your SIM card with M-Pesa and you will love being... <laughs> There's something... For 